Ready, round two of the sportsbreaks.com tour series for 2022. We are in Gala Shields in Scotland for the first time, a host a venue in the tour series. Marty McDonald with you to take you through tonight's race coverage. And the men will kick us off and they will be followed at 7.30 by the women's race. As you can see, it's a beautiful evening here in Gala Shields. The sun is shining. 23 the teams that you are going to see in action. The river will tight. They will be looking to try and make amends for round one. The riders down on the start line to get ready. If you weren't with us for round one, Thomas Mean and Matt Bostock, what a night they had lapping the field. They got onto the back of the bunch and then uh, just dropped back and uh, crossed the finish line uh, together. Going into tonight, it's with Sun God at the top of the standings well. with uh, 10 points. Wales Racing Academy, you can see them in their, in their red jerseys. They are second with nine points. Techers, they are in that pink, red, blue and green kit. They are third with eight points. Trinity Racing, they are fourth with seven points. Points, just two riders in there for them tonight. St. Piran in fifth with six points. Rebel Well Tight in sixth with five points. They are the defending Tour Series champions. No Pins, Motor Race Team with four in seventh. Spectral Wiggle, they are in eighth with three points. PB Performance ninth with two points. And Embark Bike Strong are tenth with one point. The Gala Shield circuit that we have here, one kilometer in length and that's uh, 0.6 miles depending on where you're from six corners so it's a very fast circuit so we start here in bank street and we're uh, just two minutes away now a couple minutes away from the start of the racing they will swing left in to uh, out of albert place into market street and we'll give you uh, a full rundown of the course on our sighting lap for that River World type team here this evening, Stuart Balfour, Finn Crockett, Cameron Jeffers, Charlie and Harry Tanfield. For with Sun God, the team that really kicked things off, Jacob Scott, Jim Brown, Matthew Gibson, Matt Bostock and Thomas Mean. They are uh, here again. We've got Joe Holt, William Trulove, William Roberts and Josh Tarling for that Wales Racing Academy. So watch out for them. Isaac Mundy as well for that Spectra Wig uh, team, Spectra Wiggle Vitus team uh, in there for Techers. Uh, they had uh, a really good as well. They had a good opening round, did, that, uh, did the Techers team. Noah Hobbs was up there. Watch out for Alec Briggs and, of course, Tour Series legend himself, John Mould. The most successful individual around uh, winner is John Mould. Embark, Bike Strong, they're here as well. Team PB Performance, the Global Six team, an international team uh, with a rider from Spain, one from the USA and two from New Zealand. We'll pick them out as we go. The No Pins Motip Racing team are here. Then the SRCT Muckoff team in their bright pink pink and black jerseys you can't miss them and then the uh, 0503 team are very similar to that wales racing academy jersey they are in red and away we go for the sighting lap one hour plus five laps of racing that the riders uh, will have ahead of them here this evening And those freewill.co.uk yellow jerseys, those are the jerseys of our series leaders after round one. Seven rounds in total, though. And if you're, if you're new to the tour series, we have seen many times over the last 13 years the tour series completely flip on the spin of a coin in these races. They are so fast, so technical are these uh, circuits. If you're happening across our live stream and you're um, new to cycling, this is a criterium short track circuit around a town centre such as this. Stay with us. You're in for a real treat. Uh, we have seven rounds in total. We had our first one uh, in uh, Gisborough 
kicking things off at the beginning of the week. So uh, it was uh, in terms of that race, we had Matt Bostock and Thomas Mean go clear right at the start. We could the men's and women's races uh, early on in the week um, round one were kind of almost a carbon copy of each other in a way in town in terms of uh, how they went down. So uh, watch out. Um, as the motorbike will pull away at the end of the sighting lap and racing will uh, get underway. And you can see just how much the riders are battling um, for the position um, as the bike will uh, look to pull away. That's Stuart Balfour there. And we are off and racing. The bike pulls away. You can see the pace go up as we went through that start finish line. So we have this little right into our place, then this left hand turn here. So you can see how quick it is through this uh, section into Market Street. There's a little kink to the right. Then that tight 90 degree left that they're going into now. So we go into Channel Street here out of that corner. And you can see the yellow jerseys quickly uh, up towards the front here for our uh, uh, series leaders. So leading out here. So just trying to get things started. You can see how vigilant no Ribble Well tight are being this time. Just making sure they're well up to the front, wise to what the Wiv Sun God team did on the opening round. So just a minute of, you can see there, just over a minute per lap. So Matt Bostock and Jim Brown is leading through. So Matt Bostock starting the way he means to go on in this one. Cameron Jefferson, Stuart Balfour for the River World type team, just sitting there in third and fourth position at the moment. Then you've got Oliver Reese just behind them. Then Cameron McLaren, but Bostock means business again, doesn't he? And you can see those yellow jerseys of his teammates just a little bit further down the group. So the Tour Series overall, the Wiv Sun God team as they are now. Canyon Iceberg, they were in 2018 when they won the title overall. 2019, they were Canyon DHB Floor Homes. And then the title going to the boys in blue and orange there last year in that Ribble Well tight uh, team by just one point. And you can see already lined out here, looks like we got one of our Wibs Uncle Riders on the back. That looks like Jacob Scott. Did look like he had a bit of an issue just as they uh, moved away. I think it's actually Thomas Mead uh, looking down through the group. Did look like he had a bit of an issue um, off the start line. So uh, got some work to do to try and move up in this one. But you can see the course and how fast this one kilometre course is and how difficult at this pace as well it's going to be to move up um, through that group. So Jim Brown and Matt Bostock here doing the right thing at the front, just leading out, just set that pace and then just have a look back and just see what sort of damage you're doing. You can just see Matt Gibson and Jacob Scott that is there in those yellow jerseys that are just trying to move up just a little bit as we come round for the end of the lap. Gibson just moving up there on the left. You can see there in that yellow jersey. Good sprinter is uh, Matthew Gibson. And if we look a little bit further down the group there, you can see Thomas Mean just trying to pick off riders in front of him. And what he's got to try and do is you can just see there's some little cracks just opening down that group. Um, as they get that kind of ricochet effect, the slingshot effect of the bunch in and out of these corners just starts to open little gaps in the group. So if you're new to the Tour Series, the, the unique thing about the Tour Series is a team competition. So even though we have the all the glory of the individual win on the night, a lot of prestige over the last 13 years um, with, with these individual Tour Series victories, it's a team classification. So four riders to count. So you've got to get your four riders across the line. If you do what uh, the Wib Sun God team did in the first round, round, put two riders off the front on their own. Um, but literally, as we said, they lapped the field. They didn't come all the way past to, to the front of the bunch. 
um, they kind of, it sounded like when they had some team orders and just dropped to the back of the group. But you then got to look around that bunch. You've got to place as many riders. If you've got designs on winning this series overall as a team, then you have to place as many riders as you can up towards uh, the front to make sure you have, uh, keep those high scoring positions. Stuart Bow for now, just kicking off the front here, it looks like, for River Well Tight. And it, oh, a big crash at the back. We're just seeing some riders going down just out of that corner. So we just saw it in the top of our picture there that some riders have gone down. And you can see that there's a gap in the bunch of riders looking back here. Balfour at the front, leading out for River Well Tight. Kicks out of that corner. So you can see four River Well Tight jerseys in, in here. And for the With Sun God team, Mean was trying to make his way up through the group. You can see Riders just trying to close that down. And that, you can see now, that crash considerably now has, uh, has uh, thinned out the front of this group. And the other thing about this is no laps out. So it's safe for you to continue. You've got to pick yourself up. You've got to get back round to the pits. And this is the second group now. You can see Alec Briggs in there for the Techers team. And there we're looking for our uh, next counting uh, yellow jersey within the groups as well. As that group goes through, back to the front though. Jacob Scott just trying to close down to Stuart Balfour. So Balfour, Stuart Balfour for River Well Tight, Jacob Scott, Matt Bostock, James Bentley up there as well towards uh, the front of the group. Just looking back now, the gap just a couple of meters as Scott just closes it down here. So for with Sun God, they've got to look around. They've got four counting riders in that group as well. Have that with Sun God team there. You can see Jim Brown just a little bit further down the group. And Matt Bostock now leading out. So the uh, again, this is what we would we were expecting. I think there was that kind of shock and awe from that first round, that first lap in Gisborough. When you come into the Tour Series each each year, it is really, as we kind of say, it is a baptism of fire sometimes in terms of the the speed of the racing and how fast these uh, these circuits are that we've always traditionally had. That you know we've had many very fast circuits around that they're quite short as well in terms of criterium levels you know one kilometer in length so very uh, very fast um we are lapping i'm just having a look around um at the lap time so stuart balfour 102.388 is his fastest uh lap so far as matt bostock now just rides through towards the front has a little glance across at balfour balfour though decides to come back through towards the front so in there so Harry Tanfield moving up there in third spot. Here comes Thomas Mean. So the Whip Sun God rider. This might help these riders as well. So the uh, the rider there going through. We'll just have a look and see what sort of time he is at at the moment. So I'm just having a little look to see if I can find him. So 15 seconds is the gap for Thomas Mean. I'll just run you through who uh, we've got in this group. So Stuart Balfour, Matt Bostock, Harry Tanfield, Matthew Gibson, Charlie Tanfield, Jim Brown, Josh Tarling, Jacob Scott, Leon Mazzoni, Noah Hobbs, Cameron Jeffers, Bradley Simmons, Kieran Riley, uh, Finn Crockett, Cameron McLaren, uh, Charles Page, Matt Wilts uh, is there as well. And I think Kian Watts is just in a gap in between. So uh, Kian Watts, I think, is on the just in the, the next group. That's Joe Holt. We can see in that Wales Racing Academy jersey, I think, just coming through here uh, in the red. So these two riders just chasing hard. So the Global Six rider just going through. So Kian Watts and Joe Holt. And then the group with Mikey Mottram on the front and Thomas Mean. So Mottram, that's a good, powerful rider as well to try and help Thomas Mean get back into the mix. But they do have four counting riders up here in this one. Tanfield now 
comes through towards the front. Gibson wise to this attack. Josh Tiling, the tall rider, you can see there in the red for the Wales Racing Academy. So you can see the sort of stature of rider that will enjoy uh, this circuit. Tanfield back into the Tour Series. Just kicks it out of that corner, looks back at Gibson. So Ribble well tight, have done well here. Five riders that they've got in there, just those four there for that with Sun God team. Noah Hobbs in there for Tekkers. This is going to be a tough night for Thomas Mean in the chases. He just wants to try and get himself as close as he can to that group. If not, try and with everything that you've got to try and get back in there. Because if one of the riders at the front has a mechanical, remember, four riders to count in total. So if you lose one into the next group, you can see with the Ribble Well type placing five riders in this front group, it does give them that distinct advantage in this one. Um, with Sun God, though, we know what they can do in this situation. Tarling moving up onto the wheel now of Matt Bostock. Just having a glance back over the shoulder. It's Matthew Gibson, my apologies, just on the front. See the power of him. The rider's just trying to get back in here. Just over 10 minutes of racing. If you are just joining us, welcome aboard. It is round two of the sportsbreaks.com tour series for 2022. We are in Gala Shields in Scotland for this on this one kilometer circuit. And there was a crash early on and it's uh, it has delayed quite a few riders. Josh Tarling, though, of the Wales Racing Academy. A real talent is the young Welshman. And he's now at the front of this one. And uh, as you said, what a rider he is uh, developing into. Silver medalist in last year's World Junior Time Trial uh, Championships. We were on the World Time Trial course last year. It really suited the power monsters. And Josh Tarling is a real powerful uh, young rider coming through. And uh, you look at that rider terms of where he can go in his career just 18 years old is tarling on the front the only rider in this group for that wales racing academy so st piran look like they've got two riders in there one chasing in the gap in between but mean this is going to be a, a tough ride tonight he's just trying to use riders just to try and uh, get himself back in there so Neil Phillips, Max Walker and Kai Davis just coming through. Joe Holt, the teammate of Josh Tarling here, has dropped back down into that group. Noah Hobbs just moving up. Four Techers. Gibson on the front, loves these fast uh, courses does Matt Gibson the riders chasing as well these are start of the riders that were delayed by that crash just uh, trying to get themselves keep themselves going and try and count as many riders as they can for their team The chasers, you can see how on this course, so uh, with, a, with a gap now, let's have a look at our gap. So 17 seconds is the gap. Back to our chasers. Some of the Ribble World type riders just hanging down. Um, Finn Crockett just uh, further down the group. So Crockett, there's a little bit of chat now going on amongst the Ribble Well type riders here. Tarling though, just quite happy to just set the pace here at the moment. The crowd getting behind them as the uh, four yellow jerseys in this group. 
And we are in to our sprint lap, the Klaxon sounds, and it's into sprint lap. So after round one, Thomas Mean here in this second group was leading in the sprint classification ahead of teammate Matt Bostock with 20 points hand up for our uh, PB performance rider. So after round one, Thomas Mean at the top of the standings with 20 points. Matt Bostock was second with 16 points. The third rider was Harry Tanfield on six points. Then Matt Gibson on five points finished the night. Jacob Scott in fifth with four. Charles Page scored three. Kim Watson, Charlie Tanfield two apiece. And Ollie Reese and Leon Mazzoni uh, one point each respectively. Matt Gibson has uh, won the sprints classification twice in his career. So we'll see what they're gonna do in this one. Are they gonna lead out Bostock for this sprint? Or are they just gonna roll through? So Matt Bostock scores maximum points through the line. So Bostock looking to, to, to take this jersey in his own right. So got Josh Tarling got himself in there. It looked like in second place, just ahead of Gibson. And then Charlie Tanfield and Jacob Scott were our next two scorers. So that's the first sprint of the night out of the way. Five, four, three, two, and one points respectively to those uh, to the first five riders across the line. We have three intermediate sprints, and we also, for the sprints classification, have sprint points on the finish line as well, just so that you know. So we have uh, two more intermediate sprints to come throughout the race, and then we will have uh, those points on offer on the line as well. So our leading group coming through, just starting to as well, so they're lapping a, a fairly sizable group. So those lap riders, just uh, let that group through, but Mean has got some work to do here as he comes through, just comes past Charles Page there, just has a little word as they go through. Know what uh, what sort of rider Thomas Mean in is, is as well. They call him the Mean Machine, the British Cyclocross champion. Will not be content for that group to roll round. He's got to fight and battle with everything that he's got in this one. His four counting teammates though are in this group ahead for Wib Sun God. So the two teams that battled it out for the general classification last year in the Tour Series, both in commanding positions, you would say, in this one. Four riders for Wib Sun God, five riders in here in total for the River Well tight team. So leading through, Balfour, Bostock, Gibson, Josh Tiling, Charlie Tanfield, Jim Brown, Leon Mazzoni, Harry Tanfield, Jacob Scott, Noah Hobbs, Bradley Simmons, Finn Crockett and Cameron Jeffers. That's the makeup of your leading group. There's Balfour back onto the front. Tried earlier on, Stuart Balfour. So he's had a, he's a good space. Took a um, tough rider as well. Fourth in the Rutland. Cycle Classic this year. Quite content here to just set the pace on the front of this one. Let's go back to our chasers. We'll give you a time check when the, uh, when the next group go through. I think it's still about 18 seconds, 18.749 as our leading group just go through the line. So if you are just tuning in, we, there was a crash earlier on that did split this bunch. The pace super high. These are your chasers. And it meant that uh, Thomas Mean, who looked like he had a bit of an issue off the uh, start finish line, was already on the back foot when the crash happened and was uh, held up behind it. But now the chase coming to try and get back in there. Kai Davis was uh, leading through. K 
Mackey and Watts also in that group with Thomas Mean. Kian Watts led that group through, the New Zealander. Josh Tarling, the Welshman, the Wales Racing Academy. He's very animated tonight, isn't he, Josh Tarling? So just keeping this pace high. So without his three teammates in this front group for Tarling, you would say it's all about that uh, going for the glory of the individual win tonight. That first place would be welcome for the scoring as well of the Wells Racing Academy. They came into tonight in second place overall. As we said, it can, at the way this racing goes around these uh, tight city centre circuits, it can just change round to round. And that's the beauty of this series. That's the beauty of bike racing. Balfour looks like he was lining up for a bit of an attack there, but Balfour goes through on the inside. Jacob Scott just uh, comes over the top, moves up. Jacob Scott now launches himself off the front for with Sun God. Tanfield wise to that one. Jacob Scott, look at the way he's just throwing himself through these corners. 19 seconds there, the gap. So Thomas Mean, it's game. It's a brutal chase to try and get back in here in this one. But he'll battle all the way. Jacob Scott looks back. So Harry Tanfield is there. Josh Tarling is just going to close this gap up here in the red. Good move, though, by Jacob Scott. See, he's got some pressure. He just launched himself through that start-finish line. There's Leon Mazzoni, you can see there in the black jersey with that Cornish tartan and the green and purple helmet for St. Piran. Bradley Simmons is your second St. Piran rider who's a little bit further down the uh, the back of the group so you can see two of those uh, purple and green helmets in that leading group. Alec Briggs now on the front here for Team Techers. So River World tight, keen to now mix it up here with the Wib Sun God team. We've seen Harry Tanfield attacking. Looks like Finn Crockett on the front here for Ribble World Tight. So top and tail in the group here at the moment, Ribble World Tight. Finn Crockett, great season Finn Crockett is having with that Ribble World Tight team, the 22 year old Scottish rider winner of that Rutland Cycle Classic for Finn Crockett. Fast finisher as well. Holds the track record at Gisborough as Finn Crockett. Kian Watts leads that chasing group through. Thomas Mean right on the wheel. That gap really now is going out 25 seconds. So all four of the With Sun God riders in this front group make sure that they just pack the front when they uh, when they come to the finish we've had just over we had 22 minutes of racing so far we've completed 21 laps so far in the race so you're uh, tuning in tonight the men kicking affairs off and then they will be followed later on by the elite women's race 
camera here just looking down the road. These are uh, some of our back markers. A lot of the riders who have been lapped in this one. Gibson just grabbing a drink. Any opportunity to try and get a little bit of uh, refreshment in there. Gibson, though, really digging in on these corners. It's about 13 degrees Celsius here in Gala Shields this evening. It'll steadily uh, drop as the evening goes on, 53 to 56 Fahrenheit. And uh, there was a kind of mixed forecast, but the sun is out. Beauty of that one. And a 21 kilometer an hour uh, westerly wind was the forecast. You can see quite sheltered though through this uh, through this course. Not a huge amount of area of Gala Shields circuit here that's open. It's a kind of cross tailwind down through this uh, start finish straight. And down that back uh, side of the circuit, it's a kind of cross headwind, 25 minutes of racing that they've uh, completed so far. Charlie Tanfield now up towards the front. And then we just uh, keep this clock on here to our uh, yellow jersey and the man that went into the night leading in that sprints classification. Good lap that time, pulled it back 20 seconds, so they did close it down very slightly. Harry Tanfield back on the front here for Ribble World Tight. Gibson and Tarling not letting him go anywhere at the moment. Noah Hobbs for Tekkers. <laughs> Harry Tanfield had a, has had good success in the Tour Series in the past. 2018 won the rounds in Aberystwyth and Stevenage. And has uh, spent time out in the World Tour. He's back here racing uh, for the Ribble World Tight team now. And that gap then uh, looks like it's coming down a little bit again. So back to about 19 seconds. As we said, it's going to be a tall order to try and uh, pull this one uh, back. And the fastest lap by Charlie Tanfield, one minute, one second, point six one zero. So there is a fastest lap competition as well. And the riders in the Tour Series, they, they love getting the fastest lap as well. We do present that on the podium at the end of each race. So 101.610 is the fastest lap. So Stuart Balfour, Matthew Gibson, Matt Vostok and Charlie Tanfield leading the group through that time. So it had come back just to touch the gap to this chasing group. And you can see they're not giving up without a fight, are they? These are your chasers, so good to see this chasing group. So Max Walker leading the group through. Thomas Mead and Kian Watts not far away from the front. Max Walker, one of two, only two Trinity racing riders in there tonight. Oliver Reese being the other one. It's all about the front of the race at the moment. It's one hour plus five laps is your race time. So as they get to that hour, they're then shown five laps to go. We're not, we will not be far away now as well from our next sprint lap. This group, you can see the tactics just playing out within this one, swinging backwards and forwards between those two teams with the dominance and uh, with dominance in terms of numbers. Then you've got those individual riders in there like Josh Tarling and Noah Hobbs who are looking for that, that glory of that individual win on the night for the teams as well. They've got to be mindful of wanting to get us there, take this round overall as well. So remember, four riders to count, 10 points down to one for the 10th counting team. Ribble well tight. I've got five riders in here in those blue and orange jerseys. 
with Sun Gods. They've got four in this group and one in that chasing uh, group behind. And then St. Piran, they've got two riders in there as well. Sprint lap this time, the clacks and sounds. So sprint lap this time. Bostock took the first sprint of the night, spent that race out in front with his teammate Thomas Mean in round one in Gisborough. So making sure that he keeps himself up there in the sprint classification. And with Sun God here, just packing the front with his teammate right on the wheel. He will also make sure that he wants to score as many points as possible here this evening in Matt Gibson. A little bit of chat going on amongst the, uh, the Tanfield brothers, it looks like. They're lining up now for the sprint. Matt Bostock on the front. Matt Gibson right on the wheel, perhaps just deciding if they're going to sprint out for this one. Those three jerseys now move up as Tanfield just powers across. Harry Tanfield leads through. So Tan the order across the line there. Harry Tanfield, Matt Bostock, Matt Gibson, Charlie Tanfield and Stuart Balfour was your order. So just uh, warning those riders that they're there. Look at this though, Harry Tanfield going through the line and then launching himself off the front. Taking those points through the line. His brother Charlie defending as well and in fourth to make sure he scored some points for the River Well type team. He's gonna persist with this one. Matt Bostock right on him though. Tanfield always so aerodynamic on the bike. Harry Tanfield to is, as we said, he's spent many years now off in Europe. So just you can see that little replay through there. Look at the speed through that corner. Look at the line through that corner for Harry Tanfield. So he's just got to keep going. You can see that the gap is opening. Mazzoni it is, is the rider on the front for St. Piran. Tanfield looks back. Mazzoni's got good power in these crits as well. Had a good season last year in the Tour Series, did uh, Leon Mazzoni. He's dragging this one back together, though. He knows that with uh, just two riders in there for his team and one apiece, for the Wales Racing Academy and Techers, that potentially both Ribble, Well Tight, and the Wib Sun God team would be happy for those uh, riders to go clear. Through the line this time for our leaders. So two sprints behind us on the night. So a different race to the opening round we had in Gisbro when we had those two riders go clear for the Wiv Sun God team. Ribble well type, we looking to try it. They didn't have the best start to their defense of their title. And they would probably say that themselves. They uh, were sixth in the opening round. Five points with Sun God with 10. So Ribble well tight. They need a round win. And they've already, they've got quite a uh, points deficit to make up. Tanfield though through that corner. You can see how close these riders are having, uh, pushing this one kilometer circuit. Balfour's going to make a move, though, again for Ribble Well Tight. This is what they've got to do. They've got to go on the offensive here this evening, this team. And it's up to each time. You can see a yellow jersey. Those are our freewill.co.uk yellow jerseys. And 
it's Jacob Scott this time. And that's just again, just pushing the bike here in terms of trying to keep away from the riders. Just shows how fast they do lap through here. Just picking up some back markers as Jacob Scott comes over the top of Balfour. Just got to watch those little puddles as well on the course. Those are our leaders as we go here into the start finish straight. Scott and Balfour. They gap those opening and it's up to Hobbs. Noah Hobbs of Tech, as you can see on the front in that multicolored jersey, the pink and red shoulders, the yellow bands around the uh, around the sleeves. Is this going to be the move that sticks here this evening? So we are th almost 35 minutes of racing so far. Jacob Scott, new fastest lap as well for Jacob Scott. One minute. 0.800. Are we going to get a sub minute lap here this evening? It's dry, it's fast. So that's the new fastest lap. We had a 101.498 in terms of the uh, the fastest laps as well from Stuart Balfour. But that from Jacob Scott, one minute, 0 0.800. As they try and get clear on this 1K circuit, can they push that lap time? inside that minute Hobbs is doing a big turn though on the front isn't he to bring dry and get this uh, keep this under control here so you've got to take your hat off to the uh, to the to individual riders in this one we also had the uh, one of the two St. Piran riders in there as well Mazzoni trying to keep this one under control And that's it, you've got to get right on it as soon as those gaps go. Here's Thomas Means still chasing. So the gap back to Thomas Mean. 24.253 seconds now for Thomas Mean. And he is in that group. I'll just have a look. I'm just having a look around that group now. Because I am seeing that Cameron Jeffers is with thomas mean in that group so we'll have a look and see around this uh, group you're picking out those uh, orange helmets so there are your two leaders going through it's mazzoni that's giving chase here for st piran here's teammate simons right on the back bradley simmons So that chasing group won this back. They've got to get it back and they've got to get it back quickly. But the uh, the riders like Hobbs and the two um, St. Piran riders have got to be the team that do the work. Back to Thomas Mean. 18.762 now. The gap back to Thomas Mean. So he is pulling it back to that chasing group. And this is what you've got to do in this situation. Because if, that, if, the, if these two get clear and that group behind, are content to let them go and start looking around at each other. Mean and that group with the, the likes of Kian Watts could be right back in the mix in this one. These are lap riders that are just getting uh, caught and passed here by our two leaders. So you're watching out for the rider in the uh, light blue and orange colours there and the rider in the yellow jersey. Harry Tanfield on the front of the group. So he uh, goes through there, just kind of parks the bus a little bit on the front of the bunch. But it's all spread out around this circuit. As is the case a lot of the time in the Tour Series. You can see just how tight, how technical, how fast these courses are. And Tanfield maybe just uh, riding on the front, doing some teamwork here for Ribble Well tight. He's just taking that gap out just very, very slightly. Flick of the elbow there by Jacob Scott for Balfour to come through. So back into our start finish straight. 
So Bank Street is the start finish straight here in Gala Shields. And you just, we have a little kink into Albert Place and then swing round into that market square. Gap looks like it's going out now, doesn't it? With uh, that last lap with Ta Harry Tanfield just uh, sitting on the front. So that chasing group, Gibson, so Matthew Gibson leading that chasing group through this time. Harry Tanfield, Matt Bostock, Josh Tarling, Jim Brown, Charlie Tanfield, uh, Noah Hobbs, Finn Crockett, Liam Mazzoni and Bradley Simons. And then the gap back to the next group's coming back, isn't it? So uh, the next group going through. This is our next group on the road. So these uh, this groups, if you weren't with us a little bit earlier on, there was a, an, an early crash. Here's our two leaders coming through. So we're looking towards the next sprint of the night as well. So Jacob Scott and Stuart Balfour are your two leaders. So that with Sun God Key team and River Well type both represented at the front. Josh Tarling now for the Wales Racing Academy is the rider on the front of that chasing group. So back up to our leaders, give you an opportunity to follow them through the circuit this time. Gives you a good view here of the course and the lines that they're taking through this one. So the man wearing number one, Stuart Balfour, has that uh, that honour as the team were the champions last year. Had a good win in Switzerland last year, did uh, Stuart Balfour, the uh, GP of Chappé in Switzerland. So it was a, uh, a good win by him in that one. So he's had some good international success as well in his career. Jacob Scott, if you, follow, if you follow the Tour of Britain, you'll be familiar with the name of Jacob Scott. If you followed it for a few years, you'll know as well. Twice the King of the Mountains in the Tour of Britain, Jacob Scott. Remember some epic battles in the Tour of Britain and uh, in his career to take those titles. It's one of those uh, classifications in trying to he was in so many breakaways in that 2019 edition. So our two leaders just getting caught up in a few of the back markers here, just to, to try and uh, pick their way through. So they'll be quite vocal as they come past here, as they, uh, you can see that group, just uh, getting a warning that the leaders are coming through. So just waving them through towards the front. So just over 40 minutes of racing, 42.11 we go through at the end of that lap. So still our fastest lap time of the night, Jacob Scott with a minute, 0.800. So now a little move now coming through. What are that with Sun God team going to do? Matt Bostock just comes over the top. There's Thomas Mean just trying to encourage this group, but it's just thinning out as the night goes on. You can see how small this group now has become. Let's have a look where they are. So Kian Watts going through. The difference still about 27 seconds from our leaders, but that the leaders went through at 13 seconds. So they are closing still that group at the pace of uh, Kian Watts, Thomas Mean, Max Walker, William True Love is also in that group as well with. Uh, Kai Davis and Neil Phillips, I think, is the rider that's the next uh, rider in that group. So these are your lap groups. They will be pulled out. So Gibson's going to lead through this time. Matt Gibson, the sprints winner. 
from last year, 2021, and he also won it in 2018 as well, and he was with JLT Condor. St. Piran won it in 2019 with uh, Steve Lampierre as well. So uh, Gibson, successful rider in the Tour Series. He's won multiple rounds in his career as well. Um, if the Tour Series this year, the sportsbreaks.com Tour Series, we have seven rounds in total this year. The second round tonight here in Gala Shields. We go to Sunderland if you want to put them in your diary. So next Tuesday, we go to Sunderland for round three. Then round four is on Thursday, the 12th of May, and that is in Stranra. So that's where we go. Then we go to Clacton, Barking, and the grand final in Manchester. Clacks and sounds, we're in to our sprint lap. We've had sprint wins so far this evening for Matt Bostock and Harry Tanfield. And if you are just tuning in, we went into the night with Thomas Mean at the top of the standings in the uh, free will, um, the blue freewill.co.uk sprints jersey. It was a four point advantage over his teammate Matt Bostock. And Matt Bostock finished, as I said, first in the first sprint and second in the second sprint. So that he at the moment now has that virtual lead in the intermediate sprints classification. This gap though growing all the time from our two leaders. And it looks like we just had another fast lap. So Jim Brown of that um, with Sungog team has just done a 100.609. So we're getting close to that minute. Let's have a look back down uh, through the group. So they go through. Jacob Scott leads through there. And then Balfour, Crockett, Finn Crockett, Jim Brown, and Leon Mazzoni. So that is your order across the line there. So five, four, three, two, and one points. So can River World tie and the with Sun God team put two riders in a piece in this front group. Jim Brown and Finn Crockett, just five seconds off the back of them. These riders here, just in your picture, are uh, lap riders. There's your leaders just coming round. And in that group as well, that lapped group also has Cameron Jeffers, so one of the Ribble Well tight riders that's in there. So it is four apiece at the front between uh, with some got a Ribble Well tight. Let's have a look back. Look at Thomas Mean go now. Can Thomas Mean put himself back into that group? He sees that they are just ahead of him. There you have it. If he gets back on, Mean has been chasing throughout this one. He used up everyone in that group. So can will he be the only one to get on? Kian Watts was also um, chasing hard to try and get back in there. We'll see if Watts and that the rest of that group can get themselves across. But Mean is not far away now from the back of that chasing group. About five seconds it is from the back of that um, that second group to the other rider from that with Dungod team that is in that yellow jersey. So these two riders looking around, they're going to be joined at the front by their teammates. So we're going to have four riders, it looks like, at the head of the race. Jacob Scott, though, attacks through the start-finish line. So Jacob Scott, Stuart Balfour, Jim Brown, Finn Crockett. Then it looks like Simmons is going to lead through. Bradley Simmons leads Harry Tanfield, Matt Bostock, Matt Gibson through. So the, the lap riders don't panic as well. The lap riders do get an off, they get pulled out and they will uh, they get called to uh, sprint it out for their placings to make sure they. Uh, count for their teams but it shows as well just how tough and fast this circuit has been if you are just joining us we did have it looked like kind of out of our picture just at the top of our picture we saw a crash um, and it's meant that quite a few riders were sort of on the back foot quite early on in this one and chasing to get back in there 
we are in Gala Shields in Scotland. This is the first time Gala Shields has hosted a venue uh, a round of the tour series. But Bradley Simmons for St. Piran here, doing a great job on the front. Looks like he's going to pull this one back together. So going through there. So in that front group, oh, let's run you down through who is uh, who is in there now. So that's that group, chasing group. So Bradley Simmons, Harry Tanfield, Matt Bostock, Matt Gibson, Charlie Tanfield, uh, Thomas Mean, Noah Hobbs, Josh Tarling, Leon Mazzoni, and then we're 10 seconds back from our leaders. So about six seconds back to Max Walker, William True Love, Kai Davis, Neil Phillips, and Kean Watts. So they're not quite on. Mean jumped, jumped the gap and got himself back in to that, uh, that second group on the road. So you've got four leaders, Finn Crockett, Jacob Scott, Stuart Balfour, and Jim Browns, and two apiece for Ribble World tight in Finn Crockett and Stuart Balfour. Two for that with Sun God team in Jacob Scott and Jim Brown. Jacob Scott, though, jumping around, but Simmons does a great job. He pulls that group back together. And now you can see well, early on, we did have uh, five riders in for River Well tight. Cameron Jeffers was in there earlier on. But now the advantage swings back to the yellow jerseys, the series leaders in this one. So this front group all back together. This is Tour Series Racing at its best. It looks like Harry Tanfield is going to launch a move here. They're going to have to be wise to this one. One rider you do not want to let go clear on his own. And Jim Brown is uh, wise to that one and straight on it for that Wib Sun God team. Tanfield, he's been pushing that corner to the absolute limit so far this evening, hasn't he? Looks back over the shoulder now, settles down onto the brake lever hoods. Simmons just trying to come across the gap, it looks like, for St. Piran. Or is it uh, Mazzoni that's trying to come through there? So is Leon Mazzoni. So Mazzoni crosses the line there, crosses that gap. There's Simmons on the back. This would be good for Mazzoni if he can get himself in there. You can see he's burying himself in that black jersey of St. Piran to get himself back in here. Tanfield out of that corner. You can see constant little glances around just to see where they are. Noah Hobbs for Tekkers in the background. Mazzoni is almost there. The man from the Isle of Man. So from Ramsey in the Isle of Man is uh, Leon Mazzoni. Jim Brown, again, another rider. We kind of watched go up on the boards as well of the, uh, of the track. Jim Brown. Talented rider Mazzoni, you can see, is in a world of pain and suffering trying to get on to Jim Brown and Harry Tanfield. The gap, just two agonizing seconds. Jim Brown though, really carving out a career on the road. Victory this year in the Olympias Tour. Stage of that this year. 21 year old. That gap, can Mazzoni get in here? He's got to get on, and he's got to get on soon, Leon Mazzoni, if he wants to get in here. Gibson's on the front of the group. You can see those yellow jerseys reacting behind. So if you first time you've tuned into the tour series, this is the second time we've gone live. We went live on Gispera for the first time. It's a team competition. So uh, we have uh, a team competition of so four riders to count. And Mazzoni's been caught. What a shame for the St. Piran rider. So we're using our 4G technology as well. And this one to stream it live to you. There's your chasing group being led through by Finn Crockett. Josh Tarling for the Wales Racing Academy. He's been quite quiet for a while, the Welsh rider. 
this gives you a great example as well. Look at the way uh, Jim Brown just throwing himself into these corners. Great technique you're seeing in this one. The reaction behind, so you can see the team element of this one in terms of teams trying to get another rider clear if they can. Just get another rider up towards the front and, and give, you, give yourself the numerical advantage in terms of trying to take that uh, team win on the night and uh, get hold of those yellow jerseys at the Ribble World Tight team have got some work to do if you weren't with us earlier on from the first round they were sixth so they've got a five point deficit to the team in the yellow jersey so looks like uh, going to get two chasers make it four at the front again so Matt Bostock it looks like just coming across So Bostock and Charlie Tanfield make contact. So you've got Harry Tanfield, Jim Brown, Matt Bostock and Charlie Tanfield. That is the makeup of your group. And then it's just three seconds still back to Jacob Scott, Josh Tarling, Noah Hobbs, Stuart Balfour, Thomas Mean, Matt Gibson, Bradley Simmons, Finn Crockett and Leon Mazzoni. And then uh, we looks like as well Kai Davis and that next group are not far away as well from getting themselves back in there but if you wanted a lesson this evening in uh, perseverance to and not giving up the chase Thomas Mean is the prime example of that isn't he never gave up at all the belief that he would get back up to the front and it's uh, Josh Tarling of the Wales Racing Academy that drags it back together almost there. We're up 55 minutes of racing so far. One hour plus five laps. So the young Welshman is the rider that pulls it back. We said this as a sort of course that suits the power of uh, Josh Tarling. And he had sat, we'd seen him active early on just sat down the back of the group just a little bit if it came down to a sprint for an individual on this one Matt Gibson you would have up there as a potential favorite Finn Crockett's been sprinting well this season as well but Josh Tarling as well comes into this uh, into this tour series with a national championship in the uh, on the track in the points race and in the team pursuit European Junior Omnium Champion and the Team Pursuit as well. Tarling, as we said, a silver medal in the World Junior Time Trial Championship last year. And it shows his progress as a rider in what he's doing. And now Mean goes on the attack. Thomas Mean goes through the line. So clearly that chase, the red mist descended. And look at Thomas Mean digging into these corners. Gets that shoulder right down. That uh, knee out for uh, for Thomas Means. So if you weren't with us earlier on, there was a crash that split the bunch. And the man that would cross the line first in the first round, Thomas Mean, has had a chase throughout this race. Look at that replay of Thomas Mean in the, to that corner. Beautiful shot there of the National Cyclocross champion taking those corners at top speed. That's what they say about the... Uh, no guts, no glory, you would say tonight for Thomas Mean, wouldn't you? That chase to get back in there. Never give up the chase in a bike race. Never think that you're defeated. Always chase. Always believe that you're going to get back in there. And that's what they've done. Now Gibson goes on the attack for that with Sun God team. Gibson, they don't want to let Gibson go. Give Matt, Matt Gibson five seconds and he'll take 30. We've seen him win these races on his own in the past. Gisborough win last year. He won by, from memory, about a minute and 28 seconds. I'll just check my notes from a minute and 26. Yeah, not far away in Gisborough. He won that on his own last year. He's won in Motherwell as well in his career as Matt Gibson. And you can see that the Ribble well type riders wise to this one. They don't want to let him go clear. Gibson as well would be, cold, you would say, would be confident of this one in a sprint out of that group. So here's some of your lap riders. So Stuart, uh, um, Stephen Bradbury there from the St. Piran team. Gibson out of that corner, sprinting it out of the corners. 
It's up to the uh, the boys in the blue and orange to pull it back. He just uh, latches in momentarily between those lapped riders. Harry Tanfield, though, is pulling it back. Is not going to let Gibson go. And you can see the pain and suffering etched on the face here of Matt Gibson. The pace that you got to ride this one to get clear off the front. They're just picking up those lap riders as well in the gap. You can see he's just diving in, get a little bit of slipstream, get a little slingshot past. Gibson though persisting with this one. That's uh, that power of Tanfield just bringing it back. Is Noah Hobbs going to be the next rider to go for Tekkers? Look, he was moving up. Looked like he was about to launch something. Did Noah Hobbs? So the fastest lap of the night, still one minute exactly, but a point six zero nine. So one zero zero point six zero nine is the fastest lap as uh, Jacob Scott, as his teammate is caught, goes straight over the top. Five laps to go this time. So the uh, hour of racing you can see there, almost done and again, just carrying that speed down through this section of the course here in Gala Shields. So it's that sweeping turnout of Albert Place into Market Street, and then they line up through that tight light left-hander into Channel Street. Jim Brown's going to go again. Finn Crockett straight on him, though. So the series leaders do have that numerical advantage in this group. Five to four to Ribble Well Tights. Remember, you've got to get all four riders across the line as close to each other as you can in, uh, in order to uh, win the team on the night and take that team standings. So it does change the dynamic of the lead out. If you're, you're used to watching the lead out. Everyone just does their turn, swings off, four laps to go this time, and then can just road ride home job done in this you can't you've got to keep sprinting you've got to try and get as many of your riders across the line you just got to pack the front Finn Crockett though throwing himself through these corners for the River well tight team Jim Brown trying to stay on terms with the Scotsman you can see a little bit of strapping on the left leg a little bit of war wounds from Gisborough Ribble well tight looking around. They're going to try and as well again, just force Mazzoni, Tarling, Hobbs and Simmons from that group behind to do the work in the chase. This would give both of these teams one apiece in terms of points scored in this one. As we go through the start finish line this time with Sun God yellow jerseys on the front looking around at Ribble well tight. So remember, the, uh, it is that you do have that glory of the individual win on the night. Hobbs and Tarling have got to do something about this one. Max Walker is also in there as well. You saw that blue Trinity racing jersey. So your gap is about six seconds now. Back to those chasers, Jim Brown and Finn Crockett. Back to Stuart Balfour, Matt Bostock. No Hobbs, Thomas Mean, Matt Gibson, Josh Tarling, Jacob Scott, Max Walker, Harry Tanfield. Our lap riders just sprinting it out here from the group. That's Charles Page crossing the line there. They are then uh, pulled out of the race and let the, uh, the leaders have a clear run to the line. So this will be a popular move as well. The Scottish rider at the front, Finn Crockett. Had a few domestic wins so far this year here in uh, various local races. Two laps to go. Is it going to be between uh, Crockett and Brown? Can anyone get up back up to them? Josh Tarling leads through. This will be a good battle between Jim Brown and Finn Crockett for the win here. Both riders having a great season. 
As you said, Jim Brown winning the Olympia's Tour already. Good sprinter is Jim Brown. With Sun God, though, pack in the front. Three jerseys on the front there. They want to lead this one out. You'll know, we'll know that Ribble Well Tight will try and line out as many of their riders as they can. They just need to park themselves as three riders right on the wheels of that team as well. Crockett. Little flick of the elbow for Finn Crockett. Our lap riders just uh, retiring. They just uh, pull into the pits. Bell lap this time, one lap to go. So you're watching out for your individual winner. Is it just going to be a sprint between those two? Jacob Scott, Matt Bostock, Matt Gibson on the front of the group behind. These two will want to fight it out for that victory. This would be a first Tour Series win for both of these riders. see now as they uh, they go around this final lap where the sprint is going to go you can see that Jacob Scott is also leading out are they going to get caught just on the run in towards these final laps this what this is what shows you the team element of the tour series now so three riders there up towards the front four now so we round this uh, final corner here Finn Crockett He's got the uh, Jim Brown right on the wheel. So Brown now makes his move over the top. Can Finn Crockett battle back? Jim Brown on the front. Is he going to take the individual win on the night? Jim Brown comes up towards the line. Jim Brown takes it just ahead of his teammate, Matt Bostock, who takes another second place here in round two. Finn Crockett and Noah Hobbs. Another great finish from the Techers rider, Noah Hobbs. And that is, uh, again, great um, ride for that with Sun God team. So Gibson, so they take uh, first, second, seventh, and 11th. I'm just looking to see where Jacob Scott was at the end of that one. But three riders well up there for the River Well Tight team. Finn Crockett in third and then you've got Ch Harry Tanfield in fifth, Charlie Tanfield in sixth and uh, then Stuart Balfour in 13th. I'm making it as they uh, cross the line. And as you heard Carl Lawrence and say there, 60 laps we have had here, 60 laps in an hour, of, an hour plus five laps of racing on a one kilometer circuit, 60 kilometers they've done there at that speed that's impressive stuff isn't it and if you want to know as well the we've just we have 59.372 has just uh, i've just seen for noah hobbs so the one cake everyone would love to go within that we had matt bostock with 59.907 that man there on your right but 59.372 for that one kilometer um final lap there's matt gibson there gotta say as well that man there thomas mean just coming into the picture there one of the rides of the night wasn't it from mean to get back in and have to chase throughout the night but if you ever wanted a lesson if you're a if you're a, a young rider a local rider an amateur rider and even a pro rider that's why you never give up. That is why you keep chasing. Even if you're uh, on the back foot and chasing to get back into the race, there you have it, a lesson in perseverance and, uh, and belief that you had there from Thomas Mean to get himself back up to that front group and into his teammates. So there's the uh, Harry and Char uh, Charlie Tanfield for the River Well Tight team. Let's have a replay of that sprint. L Brown l timed it absolutely perfectly, didn't he, there? And Matt Bostock just comes over the top there of Finn Crockett to just pinch second place. And as he said, great finish as well. Noah Hobbs is having a fabulous se um, series so far for, for Team Techers. They're such an interesting team as well. So 
another successful night. Another great Tour Series round. That just shows you as well just how tough it is out there. So if you can, stay with us for our podium. So another... Uh, so we had 19 riders in the end that uh, were on um, the same lap in the race. So we'll uh, have uh, our various prizes on the podium. Don't forget, we've got a full evening of racing here. We have the uh, women's race to come at 7.30. So make sure you rejoin us for that one. We do have a little break in our live streams and then uh, come back for the women's race. But uh, we had, a, we had a, again, another really strong first round in Gisborough and there will be many teams and many riders looking to uh, sort of make amends in a way for, as well. If you want to know, well, to give you a little bit about um, Gala Shields while we're waiting for our podium, if you're curious about Gala Shields, so Gala Shields is in the narrow valley of the Gala Water, close to, the, to its meeting with the River Tweed in the heart of the Scottish borders. The first recorded reference to Gala Shields was in 1124, though the town really flourished in the 19th century during uh, a boom in the textile industry. Attractions here include the Great Tapestry of Scotland Visitor Centre, which opened last year. And here you can discover 420 million years of Scotland's history, heritage, innovations and culture and enjoy the true stories of the stitchers who created the tapestry. Also in the town is the Old Gala House, which boasts a museum and an art gallery, as well as beautifully landscaped gardens. The Gala Rugby Club, Rugby Football Club, where you can cheer on uh, Gala uh, RFC as they take on the rugby teams throughout the country. And uh, apparently, children will have a day out of the Pavilion Cinema. You see it on our course as we go around, where they can tuck into popcorn as they're transported to another world, a family film, um, or Mojo Soft Play. And uh, they're uh, just outside the town is Abbotsford, and the home of Sir Walter Scott, the extraordinary home in the 19th century novelist. And you've got beautiful gardens, visitors' centre, open to the public, and tell the story of the man who popularised uh, who popularised tartan, sk uh, saved the Scottish banknotes, and rediscovered his uh, country's crown jewels. And the focal, local uh, calendar as well is the uh, Braw Lads Gathering, um, which you can uh, come here and enjoy. And it's on the Scottish borders, is Gala Shields. Um, and we have stage two of this year's Tour of Britain, which, uh, which will take place uh, in this area on Monday, the 5th of September. So... Uh, Make sure you check that one out. So that's a little bit about Gala Shields. If you want to uh, find out where it is, I know we're on our live stream and where we're going. You might not be watching in the UK. So uh, if you find the uh, Scotland and the Scottish borders, and then you can find uh, Gala Shields and you know exactly where we are. It's a beautiful sunny day. And uh, it's uh, this is the best kept secret about Scotland. This is that the sun always shines in uh, as well. So uh, don't quote me on that though. But it's a beautiful night here and we've got some great action packed racing uh, to come. I hope you're enjoying uh, live coverage of the uh, sportsbreaks.com tour series for the first time. And then don't forget as well, we have highlights on ITV4, um, which you could also uh, check out. That is, uh, they will be on 
uh, tomorrow. And then, of course, they'll be available on the, the ITB hub to be able to go back and watch that on demand. So uh, if you enjoyed that race and you want to watch the highlights of that, you can check out our uh, ITB our program on ITB4. And you get loads of loads of uh, interviews and postcards and everything on that as well. Um, the team here um, always put together a fabulous show. Um, so uh, make sure you uh, check that out. That was certainly an action-packed race, wasn't it? There were so many times throughout that race where we thought, that's gone, that's it, that's the race That's the race winning move of the night. And I think that's what makes this series so interesting and what makes this series so unique is that team element. And you saw that really playing out between uh, Ribble Weltite and that. I think I'm supposed to say WIB Sun God, so I apologise if I'm saying with Sun God, but Tim Elverson hasn't corrected me. So uh, uh, the, our announcers are saying WIB uh, Sun God now as well. So I will double check um, before the next one. So, um, But it, it looks again like it is going to be um, as this series goes on. It's such a fight between those two teams. It came down uh, last year to just one point in the general classification um, between Ribble uh, Weltite and the Can You Beat DHB Sun God. Wales Racing Academy as well um, with third with 33. Have a look back, though, through the night. Stuart Balfour, Harry Tanfield with some great shots as well, didn't we? The speed that these riders were taking these corners. 60 laps in total, we were saying, um, that they completed through that, uh, that hour um, plus five laps in total of racing here this evening. you know you've been in a bike race when you've done 60 laps of a one kilometer criterium circuit like this at this speed and this is as well the interesting thing as this series goes on seven races within this month and this is a shot as well this is your man of the night um thomas mean you've got to say that chase to get back in there the mean machine as he's known and uh Got himself back in the fight. This was your sprint. Great win as well for Jim Brown. It's good to see um, Jim Brown um, getting a victory here um, in the Tour Series. There's a lot of prestige about um, taking these races. So the British, the Britain's teams have battled it out. If you want some stats, 176 times uh, throughout this one. We've had 51, if you want some stats, 51 different male victors from 111 rounds, 26 of whom have just won one series victory. John mould has got the record with 11, six of which came in 2016. And then uh, we'll have our elite women's race to come, our women's race. 26 different women have crossed the line first in 57 rounds. And uh, nearly half of them, 13 riders, have, uh, have won that just once as well. So, uh... So our per presenter, John Curry, onto the, uh, the podium. And our first presentation is for the individual winner on the night. So as we say, the uh, the prestige, the, the fame and the glory of the individual win on the night. So it's two from two. So it's WIV Sun God. Jim Brown takes the win. So WIV Sun God gets a great victory for that team. So Thomas Mean took round one. Brown takes round two. Matt Bostock, we're getting used to him on the podium. So Matt Bostock, individual sprints winner on the night. 
went into this round in second place in that competition. So it's our team winners on the night. So WIV Sun God take the win on the night as well. Jacob Scott, Jim Brown, Matt Gibson, Matt Bossock, Thomas Mean. We have it in their blue jerseys, looking to try and retain that title that they have won twice uh, in different sponsors. So 2018-2019, they won it as Canyon Iceberg and Canyon DHB. Last year with Ripple well tight. We had the three rounds last year when we returned after the uh, the break in the pandemic, but uh, now back up to seven. Our next round, if you're interested, is Tuesday the 10th of May. So next Tuesday that we go to Sunderland. That is another fast course. Then we're back to Scotland. We're to Strunra on Thursday the 12th of May for that one. Noah Hobbs, lightning quick. Fastest lap on the night, 59.372 seconds. So that's the, the rider that you've seen in the mix in that group, in those Tekkers colours. And that is a well-deserved prize for him. Fastest lap. We are going to go to our Sprints Leaders jersey next. So Matt Bostock will pull on the blue freewell.co.uk Sprints jersey. So he goes into the lead in that competition. but also he's in that leading team as well. So uh, that will pass down to the next place rider. So the team back onto the podium. It's a busy night for them on the podium, WIV Sun God. That was a great fight, wasn't it, tonight between them and Ribble Well Tight. So going forward, Sunderland next. Four corners as the Sunderland course. It's very, as I said, it's a really quick one. It's got a slight roll in the back straight. So uh, nothing that the, uh, I'm sure we'll have a real battle between WAB Sun, WIV Sun God and Ribble Well Tight in that next round. So the elite women's race is to come. At 7.30, so let's have another replay of the sprint. So Jim Brown, your individual winner on the night, just ahead of his teammate, Matt Bostock. Finn Crockett in third. Great victory. Takes that one. And we are back at 7.30 for the women's race. I'll see you in a little while from me, Martin McDonald. It's bye for now.
Hello, welcome along. Factory Company, we are on round two of the SportsBreaks.com Tour Series. We are in Gala Shields in uh, the heart of the Scottish borders for round two. And our women's teams are about to take the start. If the men's race was anything to go by, you are in for an absolute treat. Uh, thanks for joining us. Martin McDonald with you to take you through this evening's race action. And we are just inside five minutes to go to the start of the race. If you weren't with us for Gisborough, round one, what a night we had. And a breakaway group, Sophie Lewis, Joe Tintley, and Lucy Elmore fighting it out for the victory. It was Sophie Lewis of Cam's Basso, the defending champions that took the win ahead of Joe Tinley of Pro Noctis. And uh, they have really, both those teams started the way they mean to go on in this year's uh, Tour Series. And we're going to have a look at the graphic for the circuit. Let's take you around and see what we can expect. First of five new circuits on the 2022 Tour Series calendar. The one kilometre Gala Shield circuit has an interesting mix of sweeping corners, long straights and a dead stop hairpin at the top of the course. So starting off next to Bank Street Gardens, the riders will have to negotiate a double crest sweeping left hand turn before heading down that long narrow rear straight. Clean exit from the last corner hairpin will be critical as they head to that start and finish line for the last time. And if you weren't with us for the men's race, you can see that long straight that we have that kicks out of that bottom corner. So going into this evening, it's Pro Noctis Rota, Red Chili Bikes, Heide Kjelsen, who are leading in the general standings. They have 10 points. Cam's Basso second with nine Team Boom Pods, they are third with eight points. Tirelli, Cayman Islands, Scimitar are fourth with seven. Spectra Wiggle with six. LDN Brother, they are sixth. Awol O'Shea, we are seventh with four. Alba Development Team are eighth with three. Loughborough Lightning, ninth with two. And we have St. Piran, tenth with a one point so you can see your jerseys across the front that you're looking out for amy gornell on your right here in the yellow freewheel.co.uk uh, jersey beck starrell behind her in those gray and black and gold colors of uh, spectral wiggle that's for luff for lightning in the purple cams basso in their yellow and red boom pods in their fluorescent yellow and white Torelli are in the blue gabby shaw they're getting a front row start for spectra wiggle brother ldn are in their uh, blue the uh, awol o'shea colors white with those sort of rainbowy colors multi-color jersey and then the alba development team on your left so a couple of minutes away from the start interesting gabby shaw getting a front row start position. She's the most successful rider in uh, in Tour Series. She has been a winning rider in three teams throughout her career. Something like 18 times in the top 10 she's had, but she's never had an individual victory in the Tour Series. She was with Dame Sarah Story's uh, Podium Ambition team, now the Story Racing team for quite a few years. So now with this uh, Spectra Wiggle team, Boom Pods, Ella McDermott, watch out for Team Boom Pods in this. They really have started well with Emma Matthews. We're about a minute away from the start. We have one hour plus five laps of racing. We have uh, three intermediate sprints to bring you throughout that uh, racing. And then, of course, we have the sprint for line, but we also have sprint points on the line. So going into tonight, um, Joe Tindley leading in the split sprints classification with uh, 19 points. So if you do a second with 16, Lucy Elmore third with 13, and Ella McDermott fourth with three points. She did battle with uh, Joe Tindley last year. Great crowd that we have out here in uh, Gala Shields. The sun is uh, shining. So we are almost under orders. So 10 second countdown. And we have a sight lap. So they will be behind the motorbike for the sight lap. So it gives them an opportunity to just shuffles the pack. So we are away. So sighting lap ahead. Charlotte Broughton in the center here for Awol O'Shea. Ella McDermott alongside her. As uh, Joe Tindley moves up. 
to the front in that yellow jersey. And if you weren't with us for the Gisborough round, Joe Tindley basically launched herself um, off the uh, the sight lap and went for it and took uh, the breakaway with Sophie Lewis uh, clear. And it did look at times like it was uh, going to come back. But uh, we got Grace Lister up there and unfortunately uh, took a tumble. Lucy Elmore getting herself across uh, the gap. So there's your St. Piran um, blue jersey. So the men ride in a black jersey. The women's team are in that light blue uh, jersey. And the uh, Torelli Cayman Islands team, quite an interesting team. Watch out for uh, both Kim Cadzell and Holly Breck in there as well. So uh, Kim Cadzell um, from uh, New Zealand and Holly Breck from the USA. And if you're tuning into the Tour Series for the first time, it's a team classification. So three riders to count um, from the team. So you can see here, Sophie Lewis is wearing the Sprints jersey. She's second by three points is the Cam's Basso rider, but is on great form. Charlotte Broughton here, you can see for AWOL O'Shea, very experienced Tour Series rider. Used to ride with uh, teams such as uh, Nicky Juniper's um, Ford EcoBoost team um, in the past as well. So uh, away we go. We are through the start finish line. The site a lap is over and it's Charlotte Broughton that is going to lead through. It looked like Megan Barker was up there as well. So the AWOL O'Shea rider has uh, really uh, gone for it through here. You can see these sweeping turns that we have. Megan Barker, Ella McDermott, Sean Botley uh, up there as well. And uh, those yellow jerseys, wise to this one. And the, uh, if you weren't with us for the men's race, 60 laps they did it. It's a very, very fast circuit that we have here in Gala Shields um, for the Tour Series tonight. Hosting a round of the Tour Series for the first time when they're no strangers to racing though in the scottish borders tour of britain has been uh, visited this area many times and will do again uh, this year broughton for a wall o'shea good to see us starting this race so aggressively so broughton barker tindley lewis mcdermott all up towards the front here and this shows you just how fast this lap is we're already in, into the uh, Start finish straight here. So going through, so Charlotte brought to Megan Barker, Joe Tinley, then you've got uh, Sophie Lewis, Ellen McDermott, Emma Jeffers, then Holly Breck, Sean Botley, Corin Side, so one of the another one of the Pro Noctis riders, Maddie Gammons, so that's your top ten through this line here at the moment. But this is a good way to ride on a, on a short, um, fast circuit such as this, a kilometre broad, so just lead it out, then just look back, see what sort of damage uh, that you're doing uh, within that group behind. So you can see uh, Sophie Lewis for Cam Spasso, just taking a little glance back over the shoulder just to see um, if she's doing any damage uh, to that group uh, behind. I'll just run you through your uh, other teams that you didn't see on the front row at the start. Data Links, Paranesis, um, they are in here tonight, an experienced team that they've got in there as well. As Megan Barker now moves through to the front for Cam's Basso. Won two rounds last year, did Megan Barker. So you can see straight away that Joe Tinley in that yellow jersey with the red helmet, wise to that one. And the teams have got to pack the front in this one. It came down to a real battle between the Cam's Basso team and Pro Noctis, but you can see the damage that's being done. And there's some yellows, one yellow jersey back there for Pro Noctis. So they've got to get themselves uh, back up towards the uh, towards this group. So Beth Harley Jepson riding in about sixth wheel for Jaden Vivla Velo. So you can see there just popping out there, light blue, dark blue with the pink um, cuffs on the jersey. Sophie Thackeray is that uh, Cam's Basso rider. So they are really packing the front here, Cam's Basso. So remember, three riders counts at the end of the hour and five laps. But it's all about as well. Just keep your riders up towards the front. The experience of Megan Barker, though, showing, just looking back, seeing what uh, what sort of damage that she's doing 
to the group. So at the end of that uh, lap, Maddie Gammons moving up now as well for St. Piran. So Maddie Gammons leads through for St. Piran. This is the uh, development team for St. Piran. So they've started the women's cycling program as well. So good to get this jersey up towards the front. So they've gone light blue, dark blue with that, cor uh, that Cornish tartan. And Maddie Gammons, another rider we've seen uh, over the years in the Tour Series. So nice to see the team from Cornwall on the front. Beth Harley Jepson of Jaden Vivla Velo just comes through in second wheel here. So the Jaden Vivla Velo team. So they've got uh, Beth Harley Jepson and Emma Jeffers who's also in there as well. So those uh, Jaden Vivla Velo riders getting themselves up towards the front. So I know a lot of support out there for these teams and a, a lot of riders as well. Just getting that first round under your belt in Gisborough. These races can be so brutal when you come into them that, that you know, sometimes it can be a a little bit of a, of a baptism of fire sometimes in, in getting your uh, getting going in the season but Holly Breck now leads Charlotte Broughton through the line so Emma Jeffers I think is the Jaden rider with the white helmet so you can uh, pick the the two riders apart I think Holly Breck at the front 29 years old from the USA, rides for the Torelli Cayman Islands Simitar, Simitar team. She's an ex motocross rider as well, Holly Breck. So, uh, if you're a motocross rider, that uh, ability through the corners as well, that technical ability. Just seeing Ellen McDermott moving herself up towards the uh, front of the group, getting herself up towards uh, Joe Tinley's wheel. Corinne's side. So for Pro Noctis, Corinne side and Joe Tinley well up there. We're just looking, we'll have a look around the group. That's Corinne side there in third wheel. Brett just flicks her elbow for Charlotte Broughton to come through and do a little bit of work. Ella McDermott looked like she looked like she was just lining up for a bit of a move there, didn't she? Ella McDermott in the white and the fluorescent yellow colours of Team Boom Pods. Joe Tindley, though, hits the front now for Pro Noctis in that yellow jersey. So you're watching out for that this evening, the national criterium champion. Ellen McDermott, though, straight on her for Boom Pods. These two riders, as we said, did battle for the intermediate sprints jersey. And Ellen said it herself. She was, she was fine in the Tour Series until she launched herself into space on the last round grand finale in Castle Douglas. Cam's Basso, very attentive though, at the front. This is Jess Finney that's come through towards the front here for Cam's Basso. So Jess Finney leads the th bunch through for Cam's Basso. Jess Finney moves through here. Again, our other St. Piran jerseys getting in here as well, up towards the front. So good to see so many different teams mixing it in at the front of this one. St. Piran, Jaden Vivla Velo, Boom Pods. Looks like Charlotte Berry moving up as well for Spectra Wiggle. So still the sun shining here in Gala Shields in this one. You can see the group still uh, decent size is the group. 
It's a very fast, very flowing circuit that we've got here. So another attack looks like Holly Breck is going to go again. So Holly Breck. So Frankie Morgan Schlader from AWOL O'Shea. So Beth Harley Jepson, Bex Durrell also getting herself up towards the uh, front of this one. Good to see Bex back in here and racing. So Gisborough is her first race back after the uh, coming back after the birth of her son Jasper, former British Criterium uh, champion in Bex Durrell's won uh, rounds of the Tour Series in her career as well. Successful Tour Series rider. You can just see her now about fourth wheel in that. Uh, silver black and gold colored jersey sophie lewis though comes through to the front in that blue jersey she did look so so strong in gisborough sophie lewis national omnium champion won that national title recently durrell though, comes through so going to come round at the end of seven laps completed and it's going to be Bex Durrell that leads through. Sammy Stewart also moving up in the blue and dark blue jersey of Team LDN. Brother UK. So this is Sammy Stewart now on the front. And another rider who was, uh, I was asking a lot of riders about, and if we think back to sort of last year as well, did a kind of massive, um, she had her, I think she rolled her tub all oh, rider down on the corner. One of the Boom Pods riders has just gone down on that corner. And Sammy Stewart was just reminding us that last year she uh, rolled her tub. I think it was coming into the sprint last year. It was one of the saves of the saves of the series last year, but took the fastest lap in Gisborough, did Sammy Stewart. So she's a strong rider, the LDN rider, and she's pulled four riders clear here. So Sammy Stewart, Joe Tindley, Megan Barker, and it looks like Beth Harley Jepson. So just a little replay. Let's have a replay of that through the corner. So you just see little in the background that Ellen McDermott potentially just going down in the corner for Boom Pods. And so we've got a four rider leading group now. Four different teams at the head of the race. So Sammy Stewart leads through. So it's Emma Jeffers, my apology, that's uh, here for Jaden Vive Lavello. Just getting used to a couple of the new riders that we uh, haven't seen on our screens before. Sammy Stewart just uh, letting those uh, lap riders know that they're coming through. So four teams now represented at the front, and it's the teammate, so the Jaden Vive Lavello teammate, that's just on the front of the group behind in Beth Harley Jepson. to the front for Tinley. She won't need a second invitation to try and get a group clear here. As Megan Barker now comes through to the front. Comes into the Tour Series off the back of the Nations Cup in Glasgow. Where she took a silver in the team pursuit there. Won two rounds last year for Cam's Basso. Again, still, you can see the decent sized group there. So they've got counting riders as well. As this race goes on, it'll be about those counting riders for the team classification. But placing one of them at the front like this, four different teams, especially for the two teams that are at the top of the leaderboard. So it's just, it's 10 points for the win, down to one point for the 10th place team. So the... Um, 10 points to Pro Noctis. So Sammy Stewart back through to the front. We've got one rider just trying to close the gap in between. Looks like our Alba development team jersey. So the, uh, the Scottish team will want to try and uh, show their colours here this evening. Very, very 
into the sprint lap. Clacks and sounds. So the first sprint of the night as uh, Sophie Enova gets onto the back for the Alpha development team. So we will have a sprint next lap. Five, four, three, two, and one points on offer for the line. So going into tonight, Joe Tinley also leads in the sprint classification. 19 points to Sophie Lewis's 16. Lucy Elmore at th with 13 points. And then you had uh, Ella McDermott with three and Sammy Stewart, Frankie Hall, Beth Harley, Jepson, Corinton uh, had two. And I think Holly Brack had one, but I'll double check that. But it's uh, Joe Tinley up towards the front. Megan Barker now coming through. Holly Breck just closes that gap back up. So the group comes back together. Out of this uh, final corner, we'll see what sort of sprint we're going to have. This sprints competition is a prestigious one within the Tour Series. So now seeing our Loughborough Lightning jersey up towards the front, the purple jersey here. Now just leading this one out. And you can see the pressure through here is uh, just splitting that group. Sophie Coldwell and Joe Tinley just going next cross the line there so it looked like Tinley took it so Joe Tinley taking that sprint good to see Sophie Caldwell getting up there for the Loughborough Lightning then you had Stewart Jeffers and Barker so the uh, riders that were up there in our group so Megan Barker takes the one so Joe Tinley starts her night off well here in Gala Shields there's the replay so Sophie Coldwell of Loughborough Lightning challenging for sprint points. So it's those groups just trying to come back. Count your jerseys. So three jerseys to count for the team classification. Remember that one of your Cam's Basso riders this evening is that rider there in that light, um, light blue freewheel.co.uk sprints jersey in Sophie Lewis. So the, um, the Cam's Basso in their fluorescent yellow and red colours. Um, they've also got their one rider in there in that sprint jersey. I can see three, uh, four um, Pro Noctis jerseys in there. So Corin Sidon and is also um, in there as well. So just looking back down to our uh, next group on the road. So the makeup of this group at the moment, Sophie Colwell, Joe Tinley, Megan Barker, Emma Jeffers, Sammy Stewart, Jess Finney, Charlotte Berry, still in there, Holly Breck, Hannah Bays, Lucy Elmore, Frankie Morgan Schlader, Lucy Lee, Sophie Enever, in Isabel Darby. And then you've got Beth Harley, Jepson, Corin Sider, Lee Boone, Sophie Lewis, Sophie Holmes, Amy Graham, Still in there as well. Frankie Hall, Beth McIver and Amy Gornall. And then a 10 second gap back to the next group, which is being led by uh, Kim Kadzal and Sam Fawcett at the moment. And in that second group as well, the likes of Harriet Dodd are also in there. So there's Ellen McDermott, unfortunately, in the, in the Tour Series. No laps out if you uh, have issues. You have to... Uh, Pick yourself up and chase. So just over. So the fastest lap so far as well. Joe Tinley, 109.241 for the fastest lap. So Joe Tinley at the uh, top there. Just ahead of Megan Barker, who's done a 109.632. Uh, So the Loughborough Lightning. Loughborough University, of course, has a long history in cycling. And Loughborough Lightning, just what I say, best name out there at the moment, definitely. So you have a mix as well of um, amateur teams and some of the, uh, the UCI registered pro teams like your, uh, your CAMS Basso team. 
moment, this group again just settling down here. So keen to press on with this one, as you can see. There's Joe Tinley, Megan Barker, and Jess Finney. So that Cam's Basso uh, team They've had some uh, races out in Europe early on the season. Jess Finney racing in the uh, GP Liberazione in Italy recently. But Megan Barker now comes through to the front. again just sometimes it can take a race just to ride if you've been on the track and you've had a big uh, track block it can just sometimes take a race just to wake your legs up again and uh, Megan Barker so experienced in the we've seen it she said last year back-to-back -back wins in rounds two and three last year in total and the teammate just swings out there Emma Jeffers moves up Tindley wise to the move there of Megan Barker. Nothing managing to stick at the moment in terms of attacks in this one. We've had our first intermediate sprint of the night. So Joe Tindley looking to try and take back-to-back -back sprint classification victories. She took it last year. You can see now her teammates starting to move up. Roberts took the sprint classification in 2019. The most successful sprint classification winner is Nikki Juniper. She's won it three times. EJ Harris, Helen Wyman, Hannah Barnes, and Annie Simpson. And now the attack goes in. And the Spectra Wiggle team now going on the attack. So good move by the Spectra Wiggle rider. So Charlotte Berry attacking for that Spectra Wiggle Vitus team. Tinley straight on it. You can see just how attentive Barker and uh, the uh, Tinley and uh, Finney are to this one as well. This is a real multi-discipline team, this uh, Spectra Wiggle team. They race, uh, that's uh, a real part of their uh, team makeup. They race, uh, they race the road, the cyclocross, they race the gravel. So there's a lot of teams that are uh, kind of evolving into real sort of uh, multi-discipline teams as well which is good Sophie Holmes in there for the data links Paranesis team as well in those yellow and, and red colors team of Sandra McKay the team manager she'll be in the pits that's a really good ride from Sophie Holmes good to see her in there for the Data Links Paranesis team. They've been a team that have been around for many years and have always uh, ridden uh, the Tour Series, or have done for many, many years. So good to see her getting into the mix. Back to the front, and it's Elmore on the front with Tinley right in the wheel. Finney is there. Jeffers, Charlotte Berry, Megan Barker, then Holmes. Lucy Elmore. Great round that she had on the first round in Gisborough. Joe Tinley looking to try and make this race hard again at the front. And they do ride really, they, again, like the. Uh, they ride really well together as a team. They really communicate well in these races to Pro Noctis. 
So if you're tuning in for the first time, welcome. It's the sportsbreaks.com tour series. We're in Gala Shields tonight in Scotland on the Scottish borders, a one kilometer circuit. We have one hour plus five laps of racing. It's the second round of seven in this year's uh, tour series. And it's Pro Noctis, Rota, Red Chili Bikes, Heidi Kiosk, and they say it themselves, they've got the longest name in cycling. They are at the top of the leaderboard ahead of Cams Basso and Team uh, Boom Pods. And last year it was Cams Basso that won the series um, overall. They won it for the last two years in different um, sponsors' inceptions. They had uh, Brother Tafossi on form um, in 2019. Team Breeze brought, uh, drops, then Dame Zera Stories teams at. Uh, Pearl Izumi and Podium Ambition won it three years back to back between 2014 and 2016. MG uh, Maxi Fuel Matrix Fitness and Horizon Fitness have won this series uh, overall, but it was 42 points apiece uh, last year in terms of the general classification um, between Cam's Bass and Pro Noctis. Team LDM Brother UK, great debut they had in the Tour Series last year, finishing third ahead of uh, Jaden Vivla Velo. Boom Pods, Spit, Spectra Wiggle, Skoda DSI, Brother UK, Crimson Orientation Marketing, Love for a Lightning with your top 10. But Joe Tinley comes through the line this time. 24 minutes of racing so far. Sophie Holmes, second wheel here for Data Links, Paranesis. So the only rider from that team that's made it up here into the front group, but looking good in second wheel. Those cam spats, quite similar colours as Holmes makes a move now. So good to see so many different jerseys at the front here in round two, mixing it up and not being, uh, not being afraid to just rip it up on the front of this group. Corner, looks back over the shoulder. It's going to persist with this one. Is Sophie Holmes? So he's going to lead through at the end of this lap. So 25 minutes, and next objective will be the second sprint of the day, second sprint of the night. Just decided to just stick on the front here. Lead this one out. Looking for Jess Finney to come through and do some work. Emma Jeffers moving up. Who's going to be the next rider to go? Megan Barker. Another dig from Barker. So Frankie Morgan Schlader is the, I think is the other Loughborough Lightning rider you can see in the purple jersey. And right on schedule, makes a move. Through the line. So it's Frankie Hall. I'm getting my teams mixed up, get my Frankies mixed up. My apologies. Frankie Hall it is that's going through here for Loughborough Lightning. For the two teammates, Hall and Coldwell. And Tindley goes again over the top to the two Loughborough Lightning riders. So this group you can see is getting thinned out considerably under the pressure of these constant little attacks on the front. So still in there, so Frankie Hall, Sophie Coldwell for Loughborough Lightning. Then you've got uh, Jess Finney in the line, Joe Tidley, Megan Barker, Emma Jeffers. You can see there for Jaden Vivlavello, Sophie Holmes for Data Links, Paranesis, Charlotte Berry, Frankie Morgan Schlader is in there for AWOL. 
As we go into sprint lap, the klaxon sounds this time. So sprint lap, five, four, three, two, and one point on offer at the end of this lap. Joe Tindley, our sprint's leader, led through the line the last time, managed to just out sprint uh, Sophie Coldwell. for this one tonight in terms of this sprint's classification which is good it's good to see other riders getting into that mix even though Tindley did take a, a good lead on that first start but there's seven rounds there's such a long way to go in this series Coldwell though leading it out we're going through the final corners and up towards the line Coldwell leading out 100 metres to go. Tin Lee is going to come over the top and look to take another maximum points. Does she take it? Coldwell is there. Tin Lee takes that one again. So second sprint uh, win on the night for Joe Tin Lee. Ahead of Coldwell. Is she going to persist with this one this time with a bit of a gap? So Megan Barker. Gets up there, Frankie Hall still gets some points and it looks like Emma Jeffers just takes uh, another point there. So Tindley takes five, Colwell takes four. So on the night, another 10 points scored for Joe Tindley. Frankie Morgan Schlader, I think this is my other Frankie. So we had Frankie Hall, Frankie Morgan Schlader. It is that's uh, now going here for Awol O'Shea. It's a good time to make a move. After that sprint lap, you can see Tindley and Barker just starting to look around at each other. So going through the line. Awol O'Shea, another team that have been out mixing it up in Europe. You can see just how quick this course is, just having to correct themselves a little bit sometimes through those corners, then through this little uh, snaking section. Good gap, though, by Frankie Morgan Schlader. And you can see those yellow jerseys, though, on to the front. Looking to try and control this race, maybe try and get someone clear. Just got to keep going, keep pressing on with this one. Just sometimes, just after that uh, sprint lap is a good moment to go and try and profit from Pro Noctis and Cam's Basso just looking around at each other a little bit. So that team tonight, so uh, as our announcer said at the side, just two riders in there tonight for AWOL O'Shea. Had a fairly consistent season last year. is growing this is a good move now a first move that's really managed to stick so far here this evening so the 25 year old rider clear race the women's tour last year that of course comes next month there's her teammate charlotte broughton He's in that group. Some of our lap riders just getting into uh, onto the wheel of our leader. So we'll just have a look at the gap when they come through the line this time. 
So nine seconds, it looks like, is the gap as Sammy Stewart now attacks with uh, Charlotte Berry on the wheel. So Frankie Mortgage later. No Tour Series uh, victories to her uh, in her career. Just over the half hour of racing so far. So it's one hour plus five laps of racing. This is your next group on the road. If you're just joining us, we are in Gala Shields tonight in the Scottish Borders for round two of the sportsbreaks.com Tour Series. So we're going to follow Frankie Morgan Schlader on this lap. So you can see it's, it's that technical, big, sweeping 180 at the bottom of the start-finish straight as you head out of Alpert Place into Market Street. And then you have a, that tight left. So through the start-finish straight this time. So uh, we've still got our fastest lap. So Frankie Morgan Schlader, um, that last lap, minute and 14.214. She is sort of picking off, uh, having to pick her way through some of the back markers here on this course. You're always very vocal in this position as a criterion rider when you've got that group. You're just picking off riders through as well, when you, especially when you just come into corners and you don't want to try and lose any speed when you're uh, off the front. You've just got to be really vocal and let everyone know that you're there, not have to uh, break if you, ha if you can really help it, you've just got to roar and let that group know that you're coming through and you're leading the race just so that you can get a clear run. She's going to get to this group just on the uh, start here of the home straight, which is uh, wider, so that will help her just be able to swing around through here. The motorbikes are going to beat the horn and help her through. Our lone leader there. You can see the chasing group behind. So it was 10 seconds. It is getting closer. But Frankie Morgan Schlader, it looks like Joe Tinley is going to bring this group back together. So the national criterium champion comes over the top. And I think as well, just the, the main group just trying to pick its way through those riders as well. Amy Gornall just on the back of the group there. All the Pro Noctis team did played such an important role last year as well, as did Corin Side and all the teammates in trying uh, delivering Joe Tinley to that sprints classification. Isabel Darville there as well. You can just hear riders just uh, hollering as they go through. This is our next group, one of our next groups on the road. So we'll just uh, this is, uh, we'll just see our uh, next groups on the road. So our motorbike is just going to take a lap out here. Just to, uh, it's the best way option rather than trying to get through some of the back markers. Our uh, camera bike is going to take a little break and get back to the front group rather than trying to pick its way through the melee of the of catching those groups so center will move safest option as well so our bike's just going to do that so we'll uh, take our fit camera here and then uh, join back up with our camera bike so it's going through there amy gornall leading through joe tinley and megan barker lucy elmore up there so the pro noctus uh rotor red chili bikes heidi kelson team all pack in the front emma jeffers having a great night tonight is uh, Emma Jeffers and then also uh, Sophie Enova in there as well for the Alba development team and then Frankie Hall, Charlotte Berry, Sammy Stewart and Frankie Morgan Schlader now in uh, just dropping into 10 spot but a good move by the AWOL O'Shea um, rider to just get herself off the front So our fastest lap so far, if you're interested, at 17.855. So still Joe Tinley, our uh, fastest lap. And there's those yellow jerseys all uh, you can see there. Four of them in that uh, front group. Frankie Hall just moving up. Charlotte Berry's also having a good night for that Spectra Wiggle Vitus team.
So out of that group, just to pick out who is there, because we've got we've got a second group um, there as well. I'll just run you through who is in this group. We're back on the front with our camera bike. Um, so a little lap out there, a couple of laps out as Amy Gornall hits the front. So just still in this group um, that are on the same lap. If you're watching out for your favourite riders, I'm sure there are plenty of you watching our live stream of the Tour Series here um, with uh, riders to support. So Amy Gornall, um, Megan Barker, Joe Tinley, Charlotte Berry, Lucy Elmore, Frankie Hall, Emma Jeffers, Sophie Enova, um, Sophie Coldwell, Jess Finney, Corin Side, Frankie Morgan Schlader, Sophie Holmes, Sammy Stewart, Isabel Darville, Beth Harley Jepson is Holly Breck, Hannah Bays, Lee Boone is also in there, Amy Graham and Lucy Lee. That's who I make on the, that group. Then at 37 seconds, our next group, Beth McIver, Harriet Dodd, Sam Fawcett, Megan Anson, Kip Cadsall, and then at one lap, uh, and with Ella McDermott, then Charlotte Broughton, and the next group at one lap, I think, is the uh, the next groups. So they're just going through there. So those T groups that have been uh, swept up. You could see Amy Gornall, though, in here and up towards the front. Um, Sue Gornall, one of the, uh, you would say, along with uh, the likes of uh, Maria Blower and that uh, team that the road in the Women's Tour de France back in the 1980s. And, uh, Amy's mum was one of those riders that raced in the Tour, in the Tour de France. The Tour de France Femme, of course, returning this year, but when uh, the likes of Sue rode it back in the 1980s. It was three weeks. Well, hopefully, we'll get back to that point with the Tour de France Femme. It's, uh, famous cycling family. Amy Gornall comes from. As well, our aunt Linda Kay, another rider that was. Uh, raced in that Tour de France. Very experienced rider as well, Amy Gornall. Now we're starting to see Jess Finney and the Cam's Basso riders coming up. So if you're just joining us, Frankie Morgan Schlader, the only rider really that's managed to get a breakaway to stick at the moment. And uh, it's a very fast circuit that we've got here in Gala Shields nothing really managed to get away or you could say probably uh, the way that uh, the likes of Joe Tinley and this Pro Noctis team are controlling things with Cam's Basso it's a it's a big thing to try it's a big deal to try and get away around this circuit here this evening but plenty of teams represented in this group so as we said we've got the likes of Sophie Holmes in there for the data Lix Paranasis team and uh, as well as the uh, Sammy Stewart in there for L, uh, team LDM Brother UK. You've got uh, Holly Breck still in there as well for that Torelli Cayman Islands team. Frankie Hall back to the front here for Loughborough Lightning. Again, just throwing it through these corners. Frankie Hall. Stretching that group out. So if this comes down, we've got. Uh, so if this came down to a group sprint out of this group, if this group can stay together, we can have a, again another name up there as a winner of a round of the Tour Series. Joe Tinley still searching for her tour, uh, first Tour Series victory. She's been uh, the second spot on the podium on many occasions, but once needs that win, will be hunting for the win. The national. Criterium champion into sprint lap this time. So the Loughborough Lightning have been fighting it out. Sophie Colwell moving up. So they're just trying to as well. Sophie Colwell, if you can pick up points consistently in one round, it can put you into a really good position um, for the rest of the series. So the, the right thing to do, we're only on round two 
of seven here in this one this evening in uh, Gala Shields. So just picking up some back markers here. As Frankie Hall leads out of that corner. Can actually lead this out as well. Maybe give um, some help to the teammates. But she scored. F um, she was fourth across the line in the last sprint was Frank Frankie Hall. She took two points. So leading out, big turn here on the front, a whole kilometre on the front of this one. Gornal and Tinley are right in there. Lucy Elmore, though, on the left, you can see now. Scored good points on the opening round at Lucy Elmore. Here comes Coldwell. Charlotte Berry just coming up on the inside. Tinley just gets out of the saddle. Berry just uh, manages to sneak that one. So you can see they're just trying to control this one at the moment, Pro Noctis. So Charlotte Berry takes five. Joe Tindley takes four. Sophie Enever takes uh, three. Um, my apologies. It was my order. I got my order wrong across the line there. So Charlotte Berry, Joe Tindley, Sophie Colwell, Megan Barker, and Lucy Elmore um, was your order across the line. You can see Lucy Elmore just trying to control it um, a little bit for Joe Tindley there. And Charlotte Berry wasn't having any of it. But Sophie Coldwell in the purple for Loughborough Lightning scores some more points. But on the night, so 14 points she scored in total here this evening. Amy Gornall's going to have another crack off the front. Jess Finney, though, straight on it. Just a couple of metres there. Jess Finney in his second wheel there for Camus Basso, but Gornall carrying good speed out of that corner. Finney runs right back onto her, though. Frankie Hall still there, third wheel. So 37 laps completed here in Gala Shields this evening. of encouragement from the side all the teams okay just picking up some of our back markers on the uh, course just lapping riders but this front group it's just been very attrition it's been a real race of attrition at the moment just riders just getting jettisoned off the back of the group Noctis controlling this well. Sophie Holmes moving up again. Is the Data Links Paranesis rider going to launch a move? No, just moving up into the middle of the group there. Amy Gornall decided to uh, ride the race from the front here for Pro Noctis, so three sprints behind us. So if, uh, we've gone over the three quarter of an hour mark, so uh, when they come round that next time, it'll be the 39th lap completed. And uh, we are racing for one hour plus five laps here this evening. So the pace of this one just one at one breakaway has managed to stick so far but with those intermediate sprints behind us perhaps now this is the time to try and make a move don't forget the team classification in the race you've got the glory of the individual win on the night but it's all about as well having getting those uh, all of those teammates up there so those counting teams that have got their three riders in that in this group for those individual riders 
So there are uh, whose teammates are perhaps in uh, groups that are behind or have been lapped that they uh, they can think about the glory of the win on the night. attack here Jess Finney on the front Sophie Enova for that uh, Albert development team so the home team looking to try and fly the flag for the home riders they see Elmore though out of that corner Emma Jeffers trying to stay with her Elmore put in such a great ride in Gisborough so Pro Noctis and the Jaden Vivlavello team but Megan Barker just closes that one down you saw Tindley just come over the top to make sure that they controlled that one is Elmore going to carry on with this one Barker is there Tindley Enova Holmes all up towards the front of this group. Nothing getting away here at the moment. And a Bayes, I think, is also still in there for St. Piran. So we've got one of the St. Piran jerseys in there. Elmore, though, can, uh, persisting with this one. So after Amy Gornall working hard on the front, now it's the turn of Lucy Elmore. Megan Barker takes that opportunity to just grab a drink from the bottle. Sophie Holmes moving up again. So this is a really good opportunity for one of those teams like your Loughborough Lightning or your Data Links or Torelli or even Jaden Vivlavello with Emma Jeffers there to try and take the win for Sophie Enova. You can see there in that light blue, dark blue jersey with the flag, the Scottish flag across the jersey. It would be a phenomenal, a very popular victory if the uh, Scottish development rider could take a victory in this one but Pro Noctis back to the front could it be a night for Megan Barker in the yellow and the fluorescent yellow and red colours right sitting second wheel here Tinley though stretching this one out everyone just at the moment Got the measure of this one, so it's still a good size group with plenty of teams represented in there. Just coming through, just going to pick up another group of back markers. You can just see on the back of that group, Sammy Stewart just trying to stay on the back. So lots of uh, 51 minutes of racing. So looking for our, uh, again, your counting riders. Is Joe Tinley going to launch a move? You can see straight on her, though, Megan Barker. Last couple of years, Joe Tinley has really come back into her own in these Criterion races. Megan Barker, such an experienced track rider as well. Looks like she's definitely uh, found her legs here in the Tour Series this evening. Jaden Vivlavello as well with uh, Emma Jeffers. It's great to see, um, great to see her in the mix as well. They're a team that have been around the Tour Series for many, many years. They're a really strong development team. Sophie Coldwell goes again for Loughborough Lightning. Coldwell for Loughborough Lightning in the purple jersey. Tindley right on the wheel. Yeah. 
Sophie Caldwell having a great night out here in Gala Shields. This really um, course clearly suits her tonight. Sophie Coldwell, international triathlete as well as Coldwell. So fifth, she finished last year in the World Triathlon Rankings. For Team England in the Commonwealth Games this year, but showing uh, the style and the, uh, the form and the power that she's got here in this uh, criterium circuit. Triathlons, though, as well. The way the uh, the Olympic distance triathlons have developed over the years, you've got to be a very, very good bike handler to be a top international triathlete around the sort of city circuits that we see in triathlon. So good to see another rider just mixing it up and just uh, jumping onto the jumping into the road. It does help your other multi-discipline races as well. Frankie Hall is their road captain. They say you can see there just uh, in the middle of the group in that purple jersey, the road captain. And he's just outside the uh, top 10 in the National Time Trial Championships last year, did Frankie Hall. And this group again, you can see just thinning out a little bit. Our lap riders, if there's any, if we do still have any lap riders um, sitting in that group, they'll be uh, they'll be pulled out. Three laps to go. They'll be pulled out. Colwell, could she pick up a victory in this one? front has really got this group lined out now there's some really strong sprinters though in that group so you're probably looking at that they can bark a great sprint that she's got joe tindley great sprint lucy elmore has been looking good as well in the sprints here comes frankie morgan schlader again up towards the front so if you've got anything to perhaps try and make a move as we get into the final five laps of the race those teams as well, as we said, those teams that don't have their three counting riders in here, perhaps when you look at Cam Spasso and Pro Noctis to try and profit from them, potentially looking around at each other. Sophie Holmes moving up again on the outside. Hannah Bays now on the front for St. Piran. Bays now moves through. We said it's great to see this team getting up here and getting into the mix. Elmore goes again over the top. It's really impressed me in the first couple of rounds. Lucy Elmore has come into this series with some really good power, took a win. Last weekend, local win for Lucy Elmore. So as our announcer said, just the last few minutes of our hour and then they'll get that five laps to go. So can it be a dream start to the Tour Series here in round two for one of our... Uh, teams that have just been knocking on the door of a victory for the last few seasons that they've been racing in this one. Someone like St. Piran with uh, Hannah Bays there, it would be an absolute dream for them to try and take one of these uh, round victories. Same for Pro Noctis as well. They've uh, been challenging, they're wearing those yellow jerseys for that victory that individual win as well as that team wins they've had those is this going to be a move now by tinley 
just moves up wise to the gaps that might be just opening within the group just taking an opportunity to grab themselves a drink so let's run you through as they uh, cross the line this time with Lucy Elmore just on the front just so that you know who's uh, still in the mix in that group so Lucy Elmore leading Hannah Bays from St Pierre and Frankie Hall and Sophie Coldwell of Loughborough Lightning then you've got Joe Tinley from Pro Noctis Road to Red Chili Bikes Heidi Kels and then Emma Jeffers from the Jaden Vive Lavello team, who you can still see there in that uh, blue, dark blue, pink jersey. Megan Barker is still in there for Cam's Basso. Sophie Holmes, her teammate, you're watching out for her. She's in the blue sprints jersey rather than her team jersey. Charlotte Berry still in there for the Spectra Wiggle team. You can see her in that uh, grey, black and gold jersey just about midway down through the group sophie enever is still in there for the alba development team so they are a, a light blue dark blue jersey she's just out the saddle just behind charlotte berry at the moment then you've got beth harley jepson who's in there as joe tinley now starts to uh, make a move so beth harley jepson amy gornall isabel darville frankie morgan schlader still in there lee boone corin side amy graham sammy stewart are still um on the same lap in that group but joe tinley now up towards the front so emma jeffers for Jaden vive lavello as we're getting um, plenty of instructions from the pits will the riders See how hard she's working to uh, stay at the front here with Joe Tinley, but doing the right thing. She's following the right wheels. Finished fourth in the Nations Cup Gimp Wevelham race recently. Fourth place in that one. So that's a, a prestigious Nations Cup junior race. So just over the hour of racing. Four laps to go this time. As Sophie Enova now moves up second wheel. Can she take the win here? for the Alba development team. That would be a great night. That would please the home crowd. So Eneva, she's been racing since 2014. So that uh, Scottish development team, can they take a win here in front of a home crowd? Amy Gornall still leading it out. So don't forget, you've got the team classification in this one. So you're watching out for those four yellow jerseys in this one. Megan Barker for the Cam's Basso team with the blue jersey of Sophie Lewis. So we're looking as well in terms of those uh, Cam Spasso jerseys. Three to go. Just three kilometers of racing now in this one. Sophie Enova's had a victory recently as well. So she comes into the Tour Series on uh, good form. She's up here in third wheel. So th three laps out from the end of this one keeping yourself up towards the front you've seen how difficult it is to move up on this uh, on this course throughout this evening of racing here in the tour series so from the front so gornal elmore hall
Berry are all there. Enova Tindley is there. Sophie Lewis just moving up as well. Hannah Bays from St. Piran. So St. Piran rider getting up there. Emma Jeffers don't finish fourth in Gent Wave or him without some uh, some good legs. Then you see as well Sophie Colwell moving up. Sophie Holmes there. Well, on the front here, leading this one out. Sophie Holmes for Datalinks Paranesis getting in there. Neither of these teams have won a round of the Tour Series before. Charlotte Berry for Spectra Wiggle getting in there as well. Hannah Bays for St. Piran. Caldwell, the international triathlete. Can she announce her arrival here with a victory in this one? But she's leading it out, keeping the pace super high on the front. Beth Harley Jepson also still in there for Jaden Vive Lavello. Coldwell just digs into the corners here. Megan Barker, though, moving up to third wheel for Cam's Basse in that fluorescent yellow and red jersey. Coldwell on the front. Tindley now moves up with Lucy Elmore right on the wheel. One lap to go this time, just one kilometre to go. And Sophie Colwell leading Sophie Holmes, Megan Barker and Joe Tindley through the line. Emma Jeff is still in there. Isabel Darvel also still in that group. Can the uh, Pro Noctis team take a victory in this one? Emma Jeffers and Beth Harley Jepson for Jaden Vivlavello, but Colwell just content now to sit on the front. Sophie Holmes of Datalinks Paranesis. Is she going to go for this one or just launch a sprint over the top? The Data Links team have never won around. Neither of Loughborough Lightning, neither of the Spectra Wiggle team. Charlotte Berry just moves up alongside Megan Barker now. Still Caldwell on the front. Tindley right in the centre. They're going to swing through the final corners here and line it up for the finish. And a base for St. Piran, but Colwell still leading out of this one. This is the final sprint. Joe Tindley hunting for that first Tour Series win. Here comes Sophie Holmes, though, as well. It's still Sophie Colwell on the front. Joe Tindley about to make a move, poised and ready. Here comes Jeffers and Megan Barker and Tindley. Jeffers on your left, Tindley and Barker. Is Barker going to take it? Throwing the bike to the line. It looks like Megan Barker might have taken it on the line. Emma Jeffers on the outside for Jade and Vive Lavello. Tindley straight down the centre of the road. But Barker shows a class yet again in that sprint and takes that one. Great final sprint, timed to absolute perfection, you would say there, for Megan Barker. Opens her account this year with another victory. Took two last year. Emma Jeffers, great night out. As we said, you don't finish fourth in Ghent Wavelcombe without good form. And uh, for Jaden Vive Lavello, that's a good podium for them. And Sophie Coldwell, she announces her arrival in the Tour Series. Does the triathlete. Let's have a replay of the sprint. Coldwell in the centre. Tindley and Barker. Jeffers elbows out on the left of your picture there. And it comes down to the throw to the line as Megan Barker comes through. Takes that one. Is it second for Emma Jeffers? It is in that photo there. Just having a look at that. So Emma Jeffers takes second for Jade and Vive Lavello. Tindley has to uh, settle for third. But plenty about it's about that Pro Noctis and those uh, jerseys up towards the front. So Barker takes it. Tindley fourth. Isabel Darvel takes sixth place. So the count back. There's your second place counting rider. So the former European Madison champion, bronze medal last year in the World Championships in the team pursuit, comes came into this after a silver in the Nations Cup in Glasgow. Two Tour Series round wins last year. And shows that she's on good form. Just surfed around that group, didn't she? 
throughout that race. So Cam's Basso, the defending champion, take their second win of the series. Sophie Lewis took the first one, last uh, the last race in Gisborough. And they've done it again. But remember, it's about those team jerseys as well. Cam's Basso, they were well represented in there early on. And we'll get uh, we'll get word as well. See how that uh, panned out for them as the night goes on. So just to let you know, we go to Sunderland next. This rider knows that course well, and she took. Uh, so that's round three. That's on Tuesday, the tenth of May. Then we go to Stranra on the twelfth, Thursday, the twelfth of May, and then we go round five, Thursday, the nineteenth of May. We go to Clacton. Then we go on Saturday, the 21st of May, round six in Barking. And then our grand final is uh, Tuesday, the 24th of May in uh, Manchester. So that is uh, what we have to come. But I hope you uh, enjoyed our live stream. Again, two good races that we had, two really exciting races here in the Tour Series. And a great first uh, visit here to Gala Shields. Great course again assembled, put together in this one. And it really has been welcomed here in Gala Shields as well. We've had a full day of uh, activities as well, as we always have when the Tour Series comes to town. There's been uh, plenty of uh, racing. And uh, activities for everyone to enjoy today. So if there's one of those races that's uh, near you and you want to go and check it out in uh, in person, go along, enjoy the atmosphere. It is always a really, really uh, entertaining night to go and, uh, and watch the Tour Series. So if there's one of them that's coming close to you, come down and join us and don't forget we've got highlights of the race as well on uh, ITV4 so you'll be able to enjoy those uh, the highlights if you enjoyed what you saw here you can uh, check out the highlights great shot of the uh, the church it's in our uh, of circuit graphic that we had at the beginning Let's have a look back at some sights of uh, today. Charlotte Broughton had a great start. Sammy Stewart, there was a crash there by Ellen McDermott. Joe Tindley, again, trying to be um, up there for that sprints jersey. She's leading in the sprints competition as well as overall team classification. And you can see here, Megan Barker and the team were very attentive throughout the race. Barker couple of, tried a couple of times to try and get away. Then you could see again the experience of Barker could tell that nothing really was going to get away. So she managed the moves and managed the attack. Charlotte Berry had a great night as well on the uh, Spectral Wiggle Vitus rider. So I think a lot of riders from quite a few teams are going to take a lot of confidence away from this uh, night tonight. Another great night for Lucy Elmore here on the front. Sophie Holmes for that Data Links Paranesis team out for her in rounds to come as well. Lots of noise again for our riders as they come down the home street. Go on, get them. Frankie Hall. Get them a big cheer, get the, those boards back. Sophie Coldwell, so luck for lightning. So Frankie Hall, the team captain for that team. And the triathlete Coldwell, what a great night she had. Yellow jersey on. The uh, intermediate sprint jersey again, building a really uh, solid lead in that sprint competition, but we still have such a long way to go in this uh, this year's Sprint.com Tour Series. What a base for St. Piran. I think St. Piran are going to be pleased with the progress of uh, Hannah Bays and the team tonight as well. In there and challenging the front. Yeah, the front. The Jeffers on the uh, the left. Parker takes it. Tinley third for her tonight. 
But again, watch out those jerseys, the team classification. That's what we're watching out for in this one. Cam's Basso, busy team at the moment. They're over in there, Vuelta Andalusia at the moment as well. And their riders had a good day, good start to the Vuelta Andalusia down in Spain yesterday as well. So a busy team running a double program at the moment. Your individual winner on the night, Megan Barker from Cam's Basso. It's not a great victory. For Megan Barker. I'm sure that isn't the last time we will see her on the podium this year. So there are some very fast courses in the Tour Series this year that will suit Megan Barker. Win on the night, Joe Tinley in her national champions jersey. So well done to Joe Tinley. Once again, the individual sprint winner. Individual sprints winner on the night. So took some good points again to extend that, looking to try and take that title for the second time. So she would have taken points on the line as well. So we have the three intermediate sprints, but we also have points on the line towards our sprints jersey as well. So Tinley took third place points on the line there as well. Pro Noctis, Rota, Red Chili Bikes, Heide K. Elson, our team winners on the night. So they are Amy Gornall, Corin Side, Isabel Darvel, Joe Tinley, and Lucy Elmore. So moving on, we will have our uh, jersey presentations still to come. Welcome onto the stage on Nick Presenter, representing Event Scotland, Robbie Clyde. Our next presentation is to the rider who posted the fastest lap on the circuit. We're going to go fastest lap. Next. The fastest lap was taken by Megan Anderson. So Megan Anderson takes the uh, fastest lap. So 107.418 for Megan Anderson. What a night for Data Link's Paranesis. That's always a good one to win fastest lap. And apparently, I think Carl said as well, of course, uh, that because it's the first time we've been here as well, of course, he's setting a new course record you will have there. So Megan Anderson will have that when we hopefully, if Gala Shields have us back again, which we hope they will. Your sprint leader overall for Pro Noctis Rota Red Chili Bikes is Joe Tinley. Joe Tinley still in the blue jersey. She won the sprints competition last year, the blue freeworld.co.uk jersey, the sprints classification. You can see just how many, uh, the effort that it takes to win this sprints classification, especially now we're at an hour plus five laps of racing through three intermediate sprints plus that one at the finish as well to make sure that you get maximum points on the night. So she went uh, into tonight with 19 points. She had a three point advantage over Sophie Lewis of uh, Cam's Basso. Lucy Elmore was on 13 points. So Tinley has got some different challenges now when you look around that group um, after tonight's racing. So it was, uh, we had some new names up there, the likes of uh, Sophie Coldwell. And your team leaders after round two, we'll give them their full name, Pro Noctis, Rota, Red Chili Bikes, Heide Kiel. So they say it themselves, they got the longest name in, in cycling, but they are still in the freewheel. Uh, .co.uk yellow jerseys as we go to Sunderland for round three. 
and they're looking like a team in form. They really have gelled as a team in the last uh, last year as well. Uh, they, uh, I think they put some uh, some considerable points as well. Cam's Basso was second going into tonight. Well, look where their uh, point scorers are. Well, there you have it. There's your finish a sprint. Megan Barker takes the individual win. Pro Noctis, the teams on the night and retain their lead. Thanks for your company tonight from me, Martin McDonald. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.